saving your money, for hitching a ride, whatever you did, ride the Greyhound bus to get here. We're so honored, we're so proud. Uh, I am beyond proud to uh, have an opportunity to be the voice that Congress has never heard. And uh, that voice is for all, every single one of you. So, um, so I, I, I almost feel like I'm at a loss of words. Earlier on, um, Sharice and I won, and then we've had these series of orientations. And one of, one of the things we did is we went to Harvard to do a uh, training. And we had an opportunity to meet with the Native American students at Harvard. And uh, so we were in a room. First, they gave us credit because they said they hadn't seen as so many Native students come to the meeting until we were there. <laughs> so, so I spoke first. I looked over at Sharice, and she has, you know, we're both crying. We, we both cried so much throughout this whole campaign. I went to Kansas to visit her and help her uh, campaign. One of the things that's... And I'll just tell you this quick story. Uh, we went to the Haskell powwow, and I started walking through the art market, and they were all New Mexicans selling their jewelry. <laughs> Somebody took a picture of the parking lot, and all the license plates were from New Mexico. So Santa Domingo, Isleta Laguna, like all of my peeps were there. And Sharice was like, I thought I was going to be able to campaign a little bit, but you're just showing up your votes here in Kansas. But um, you know, it's uh, it's us, it's 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 us indigenous people knowing that we can stick together, knowing that we can be at home wherever we are, whatever state we're in. Uh, we have a brotherhood, a sisterhood. Uh, we're all family, and so now it's time for us to to take that right. We have we've been parts of committees and councils and and you know teams and all of these things thinking of all these wonderful ideas about how we can make Indian country better and um, what we really need are people in office so that we can take all those wonderful ideas and make the decisions that need to be made so that we can move forward, so that we can make our communities better places. So uh, I, am, I am just, um, I'm honored to be here. I see so many familiar faces. Um, I'm just going to give a shout out to Alex. She works at the museum, so she's off today. <laughs> That's why she was able to attend. Um, thank you, President Begay, here in the second row, Kate Stetson. There's so many of you. Uh, and, and I just want to acknowledge real quick, we lost a really good friend of ours, and everybody knows him across the country. Everett Chavez from the Santa Domingo Pueblo fought for Native issues for the longest time. He single-handedly um, registered every single person to vote that could be in his Pueblo and advocated strongly to get folks elected to office who we know will be uh, a force for good in our communities. Thank you all so much. I love you all. I love every single one of you. Thank you all so much.